Hey, um, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, I recently got this Android head unit installed into my Honda Accord, and um, I run into some of the issue that I want to share with you guys. Uh, uh, some of the issue is that the touch button over here not working um, with the Android head unit. If I go volume up, volume down, it doesn't work at all. Home. And sometimes you go like that, it runs backwards. Uh, even if you hit the app, I don't know, it's not even working. Music not even working. I mean, if you hit over here, that goes, you know, kind of weird. So the way to test your touch setting is to go into the car setting. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to go in there. But because all is kind of screwed up, it's very hard to figure out how to do it. Like if you do like that, you know, what you can do is that you use your five fingers you know hold your screen like that and just hold the screen five fingers until you get into this kind of calibration uh, system for your, the touch so you see here at button number one so just hit one and then there's number two over here and you can hit two and then three and then four so so once that one done, it asks you to whether to learn for these buttons on the side, because I show you that it's not even working for these button on the side, you know, plus button not working, home button not working, you know, back not working, power not working. Basically, the soft buttons over here are not working. So they ask you whether you want to go in there and change it. So hit enter to go in. So once you get in here, um, there's a star and then you see the b power button you can set them okay Ch check it out see power is supposed to respond for the power uh, power uh, selected okay and then uh, same thing for home and back so it, make sure that these are correctly uh, responding to the button that you want to do so anyway to learn to correct these um, soft buttons here you hit star hit start and basically it's in a process of learning right now so once that one star and you can hit pow power and then once that one highlighted you go into the power button over here the soft button and then that's it and then home and then hit home and then back button go to back button so volume add so go volume Plus over here and volume decrease or something and then go volume minus so once everything's learned you hit close and to verify all that you know information that you just uh, assign to these sub um, buttons you can assign to other function as well if you want but you know um, so hit OK and the system basically learn all these soft buttons for whatever that you want to assign them to. So, you know, there's navigation, previous phone, whatever you can assign them, you know, to different things that you want to do. But, but I assign them to, according to these uh, functions. So once that one done, you can go backwards. You can go hit back and go back into your home screen home menu so now verify everything's working for your system so if you hit app it's going to app that's cool go you know verify everything's working and then if you hit plus button you see volume add volume decrease right and then hit home button it's come back to home and then if you hit back it will go back uh let's try that okay like that app hit back and go back and i'm power button basically to mute uh the 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 audio system okay so that's how the function works so okay so that's how you fix uh calibrate your touch setting for the android head unit um very popular on the internet uh for this unit you can see them a lot of them uh so that's how you fixed it and that's how you assign the soft buttons for your um, system, whatever you want to do with the soft button, buttons. And I uh, hope you like this video. And if you find it useful, please uh, give it a like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel because I will do 
uh, the custom um, car launcher uh, for, for, for the Android head unit. And it's going to be great. You can, uh, I'm going to show you later on. So hit that subscribe button so you won't miss the video coming up next. Okay. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.